bears who might not be familiar with the 1820 hat story, the evolution, where it started to where you are now. Oh man, uh, 1820 hats, uh, the concept of 1820 hats, a uh, guy gave that to me about now three years ago. It's going on three years ago. Wow. All right. So uh, I've always loved fedoras. I love fashion. I love fedoras, um, hats that um, just make, fedoras make a statement and they've always made a statement. You can tell a person their mood when they put on that fedora, how they rock it, if they rock it this way, if they rock it to the back. And I've just always loved hats. So, um, you know, I grew up watching my dad paint oil paintings and ebony painting, uh, ebony drawings, and he's just been amazing. And I picked it up, art. Um, and I was just like, I wonder if we could just draw on hats. And I think I saw an inkling of that one day. I went to a studio and I saw a young gentleman. He had some kind of design on his hat. And it was, um, it blew my mind. And my mind exploded. And I said, I would like to start an entire company and do that. <laughs> Just do that. And that was my first thought about it. Um, and I put it on hold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there is, there is this uh, African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And it just took some time. Mm -hmm. I needed to link up. So uh, link up with the right people, uh, link up with the right motives. Um, and uh, I met a girl named uh, Bianca Malcolm. Shout out to Bianca Malcolm. Um, and she showed me this, and she was wearing a fedora hat. And I was just like, girl, I love hats too. She was like, yeah, me too, and that was it. And then we started singing together. And one day she said, you know, I used to draw, I wanna show you something. And she shows me this book that she did in high school, and I'm looking at her art, and I'm like, this is freaking amazing. Listen, I got this idea. <laughs> and, and, you know, it went from there. You know, um, we wanted to, we both love God, you know, and we both do ministry. So uh, this had to be something that had a, had a bigger cause, a greater meaning, something that could uh, be extensions of who we are. And um, we wanted to, you know, make sure that the name was something as well. Now, I'm not good at names. That's not my thing. You see, Kristen Media, that is my name and media. <laughs> it is simple. But Bianca is a little bit more creative, so um, she went and she prayed about it. She came back. She says, I got it. And I said, hey, uh, what is it? She said, um, well, it's 1820 hats. And I said, well, what, what does that mean? Matthew 1820. Well, two or three are gathered um, in his name, in my name. He says, I am in the mist. Uh, and it clicked. And two became greater than one at that moment. And it made sense why Christ sent them out in twos. And all of this stuff started making sense because finally at this moment, uh, I had the courage to step out on faith. You have to be linked to the right people. You have to be linked to people that will help push you and propel you into your purpose. And you can help push and propel them into theirs as well. It is very important that you share your virtues and your dreams with the right people. Um, uh, we've made mistakes. <laughs> but uh, at that moment, 1820 was birthed. Um, and a lot of times they're just like, wow, you guys have stepped into the fashion industry. And I said, no, it's still ministry. We do ministry in the vein of fashion, uh, which means we can start the conversation. We want to adorn your hat. We want to adorn your crown, adorn your head, adorn your thoughts with everything that we place into these hats. And so when you put this hat on your head, we prayed over that hat. We've sent the commission with that hat. This is when they put this hat on God, give them peace. God, give them clarity. God, give them joy. And that is the heart and the spirit of 1820 hats. So we're not just here to be fashion moguls. We are here to spread the gospel to the world um, in something everybody loves, which is fashion, which is expression, which is art, you know, 
I can go on with that. That's 1820 hats. And I'm glad you shared that because I know one of the mantras or themes is your hat is your crown. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think of when I've seen the different work, the different lines, the affirmations, things along those lines, it kind of reminds me of a favorite book of mine, As a Man Thinketh, which can also be applicable to women. Yeah. But it's true. Like, your thoughts become manifest. And it's like... Just like you have to feed your body, you have to feed your mind, you have to feed your spirit. So like you said, through the lens of fashion, it's it's it, it kind of is like, you know, a little taste of goodie mob. It's that little dose of soul food. <laughs> no, I mean, but seriously, when you think about it, like you said before, you it is faith-based. You're praying for people, you know, for them to have the clarity to understand who they are and whose they are. Yeah. And then when you think of some of the extension lines, for lack of a better term, those reminders. So if you forget who you are, all you have to do is look in the mirror and see everything that is on your head. And yeah. it's like, yeah. Yes. So it's it's almost like it's, it's you know, part spiritual. It's part therapy. Oh, it's yeah. part when sometimes you have to motivate or encourage yourself oh yeah so it really is all encompassing and and don't get me wrong the merch is outstanding it really is thank you, you. Know, I'm, I'm getting my coins up because i know what i'm having good for the holidays <laughs> i'm just saying but but it, it runs deeper oh yeah it really does yeah we're we're excited uh to be able to to do what we love with what we love does that make sense yeah, you know, I'm a writer. I kind of, ah, you know, creative license. That just happened, Wait, you're, by the way. you're, you're, you, you act. <laughs> I write. We've both heard the term creative license, right? Yes. So through the lens, see, so through the lens of creative license. Yes. We're able to make plain and make sense. Yes. Yes. Out of all these things. Mm-mm. Do what we love with what we love.